Hi, we're excited to have Mathilde today. She's a PhD researcher and candidate at the University of Ulege, the Jimblo Agrobiotech in Belgium. And she has focused a lot of her research time and her thesis on exploring bacterial communities and aquaponic systems. And so look forward to hearing from her and hearing more about her research and how that can just add value to the aquaponic community. Mathilde, we're excited to have you today. Thank you. Um, thanks for I'm excited joining to us. Be here. Um, she's joining us from Belgium. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you tell us more about where you work and where you're a PhD uh, researcher candidate? Yes, so I'm working in uh, Jean Blou Agrobiotech, which is a faculty of the University of Liège in Belgium. And more specifically, I'm working in the Urban Agriculture Research Center. And uh, I'm focusing on microorganisms in aquaponics. Okay, how long have you been um, a researcher? I've uh, started my PhD in 2017, so I'm now finishing and trying to wrap everything up by the end of September. Great, exciting. Uh, what have you focused on in your research time? I've uh, focused mostly on uh, microorganisms and more specifically on bacteria. So I was really interested in urban agriculture, hydroponics, aquaponics, but aquaponics seemed to be uh, the topic in which uh, most research was needed. So I focused on aquaponics and I decided to go really into living organisms in aquaponics, that is to say microorganisms, because we know a lot about plants uh, thanks to hydroponics, we know a lot about fish thanks to aquaculture, but microorganisms, which kind of form a bridge between fish and plants, were scarcely known when I started in 2017. But the idea was really that uh, we noticed that aquaponics was going well. We knew that uh, microorganisms were obviously present in the system. Uh, more specifically, we knew about nitrifying bacteria, which were uh, studied a lot in aquaculture. So the bacteria which uh, transform the ammonia excreted by fish first into nitrate, then into nitrate, which is the nitrogen form, which is most uh, easily absorbed by plants. So this is something that we already knew about. But then we thought in soil, we have a lot of beneficial plant, uh, plant growth promoting uh, microorganisms, which can either promote uh, growth through the production of plant hormones, or they can have a role in nutrient cycling. And uh, this really caught my attention because Nutrient in aquaponics are really uh, a key keystone, as uh, we know that nutrients come mainly from water and from fish uh, feces. And then sort of magically they turn into a solution which the plant can absorb. And I wanted to dig further into this and to see how exactly the fish feces were turned into uh, some plant absorbable nutrients. Yeah, that's exciting. What kind of things uh... Are you, where are you doing your research? Um, is it in the university greenhouse or what kind of places are you doing your research? I'm working mostly on a small closed loop aquaponic system that we have in Jean Blue Agrobiotech, which is called the PATH box. So it means plant and fish farming box. And it's composed of a maritime container in which we have two fish tanks in which we rear uh, tilapia. And the container is topped up by a light uh, greenhouse in which we have floating raft hydroponics. So really we have the fish downstairs uh, in the tanks and then the water is pumped through a lamellar settler, a pressurized biofilter. And then the water is then pumped upstairs to the greenhouse, flows through the different uh, raft compartments and then goes back directly to the fish. So it's really closed loop. Yes, I've seen the... Um... It's plant box, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, I've seen it. Yeah, um, it's great. Can you tell us more about just kind of mm -hmm. your discoveries on that? So um, the first paper that was published on microorganisms in aquaponics was published in 2017, so really when I started. And it focused on several compartments of one aquaponic system in uh, Zurich, in the University of Applied Sciences. And they had a first study of the microorganisms communities in their own system. 
So then I started reading this paper and wondering, okay, this is what happens in their system with their fish, their plants, but what happens in the other system? Is it, all, is it always the same communities or do we have differences? I thought that obviously we must have differences due to the at least fish species because they don't eat the same food. So the digestion is different, the fish feces will be different, right. but also the temperature, all the water parameters are different. So I really wanted to see if uh, we had a core community or really different communities. So what I did was uh, I traveled a bit across Northern Europe. So I went to Germany, the Netherlands uh, and Belgium, and I sampled uh, both the water circulating in the system, but also the biofilter. And I just wanted to have a quick first insight of uh, what bacteria could be found in the system. And the major result was that actually we have different communities in each system, which seems logical. That, that was the beginning, but then uh, some, some other scientists uh, read my paper and then said to me, okay, this is very interesting, but you've sampled quite well, not a lot of different aquaponic system and you've only sampled at one time point. So the second idea was to study the evolution of uh, the communities in an aquaponic system. So to, to make it simpler, I studied only one aquaponic system, so ours. And I've tried to focus on the evolution of these bacteria communities in our system over the full course uh, of uh, lettuce uh, cycle growth. And I'm still analyzing the results for now, but I'm really trying to understand what makes the bacteria communities evolve in one parameters uh, compared to, uh, in one compartment, sorry, compared to another. Yeah. How do you see just beneficial uh, microorganisms and bacteria, the things you're discovering, how do you see that just advancing aquaponic food production or even aquaponic like feasibility studies and mm -hmm. just it being a valid um, just food production system? Well, for now, my research is quite fundamental, but my idea is that if we understand the functioning of aquaponics, of the, the key roles of microorganisms, but also the nutrient cycles better, we could really make more sustainable systems because I know that a lot of aquaponic systems, they have trouble being, uh, being sustainable, being viable, they have trouble developing. And I thought that maybe if we understood better uh, exactly what was going on in the system, we could give some instructions, some insights to producers on how to maximize the potential of their uh, bacterial communities. And I've just thought also of all the business models and how aquaponic marketing should really be worked on to, to, to touch more people and to be more accepted in the current markets. And I think it's really important because aquaponics is kind of a new production technique and it can be regarded with some kind of precaution. And also the legislation is not the same between the US and Europe uh, concerning the organic label. And I think it should really be worked on to make sure that all the eager aquaponic producers, aquaponic workers have an easier way to start their business and make sure that they can have an access to uh, the right market, the right consumers, and maybe eventually the right labels to make sure that their production has a, a better value. We talk about a lot about superpowers and that just means something that is unique about you that you bring mm -hmm. to the world and so for the world of aquaponic research what do you feel like uh, you have that is unique um, to the specific aquaponic research world the fact that i'm really super organized and trying really to apply everything that i'm looking for to something more concrete more Use, useful for, for aquaponic producers. I'm really trying to produce a thesis that would actually make aquaponics uh, develop more. Yeah, that is. How can we find out more about your work and your research and what you're involved in? Well, uh, on a very scientific point of view, I'm publishing articles uh, on, my, on, my, um, on my research. So I have one which is already available and in open access online if you write my name and exploring bacterial communities in aquaponics you should find it 
uh, more will come and of, of course my thesis will be made available when it's finished but we also have a website which is uh, agricultureurbaine.be and a Facebook page which is a Centre de Recherche en Agriculture Urbaine on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah.